Orcho menus, the setting for many early Greek myths, is best known as a rich archaeological site in Boeotia, Greece, that was inhabited from the Neolithic through the Hellenistic periods. Orcho menus is also referenced as the Minian Orcho menus in order to distinguish the city from the Arcadian Orcho menus. Ancient history according to the founding myth of Orcho menus, its royal dynasty had been established by the Minians who had followed their eponymous leader Minyas from coastal Thessaly to settle the site. In the Bronze Age, during the 14th and 13th centuries, Orchomenos became a rich and important center of civilization in Mycenaean Greece and a rival to Thebes. The palace with its frescoed walls and the great Tholos tomb show the power of Orchomenos in Mycenaean times. A massive hydraulic undertaking drained the marshes of Lake Copais making it a rich agricultural area. Like many sites around the Aegean, Orchomenos was burned and its palace destroyed in Ka. 1200 BC. View of the Acropolis. Orchomenos is mentioned among the Achaean cities sending ships to engage in the Trojan War in Homer's catalogue of ships in the Iliad, together with Asplendon. They contributed 30 ships and their complement of men. Orchomenos seems to have been one of the city-states that joined the Calorian Maritime League in the 7th century BC. Although their rivals Thebes confirmed their supremacy by the end of the century reflected Bu inscriptions, Orchomenos joined the Theban-led Boeotian League in Ka. 600 BC. Classical Orchomenos was known for its sanctuary of the Chirites or Graces the oldest in the city, according to Pausanias, 5.172.80, the Byzantine, 9th century, monastery church of Panagia Scripta probably occupies the long sacred spot. Here the Chirites had their earliest veneration, in legend instituted by Atiklus, musical and poetical agonistic games, the Chiritia, were held in their honor in the theater that was discovered in 1972. The Agrionia, a festival of the god Dionysus, involved the ritual pursuit of women by a man representing Dionysus. Orchomenos struck its coinage from the mid-6th century. In 480-479 BC, the Orchomenians joined their neighboring rivals the Thebans to turn back the invading forces of Xerxes in the Greco-Persian Wars. In mid-century, Orchomenos sheltered the oligarchic exiles who freed Boeotia from Athenian control. In the 4th century the traditional rivalry with Thebes made Orchomenos an ally of Aegesilos II and Sparta against Thebes, in 395 and again in 394 BC. The Theban revenge after their defeat of Sparta in the Battle of Leuctra, 371 BC, was delayed by the tolerant policies of Epaimon and his. The Boeotian League sacked Orchomenos in 364 BC. Although the Phocians rebuilt the city in 355 BC, the Thebans destroyed it again in 349. City walls on the Acropolis, the broad plain between Orchomenos and the Acropolis of Cheronea witnessed two battles of major importance in classical antiquity. In 338 BC, after a whirlwind march south into central Greece, Philip II of Macedon defeated Thebes and Athens on the plain of Chironia during the First Battle of Chironia, establishing Macedonian supremacy over the city-states, and demonstrated the prowess of Philip's young son Alexander the Great. During Alexander's campaign against Thebes in 335 BC, Orchomenos took the side of the Macedonians. In recompense, Philip and Alexander rebuilt Orchomenos when the theater and the fortification walls, visible today, were constructed. The Second Battle of Chironia occurred when Roman forces under Lucius Cornelius Sulla defeated those of King Mithridates VI of Pontus near Chironia, in 86 BC during the First Mithridatic War. This Second Battle of Chironia was followed by the Battle of Archomenus, when Archelaus' forces were completely destroyed. Orchomenos remained a small town until late Roman times, when the theater was still in use, 
and afterwards. Archaeology Most excavations have focused on the early and Mycnean areas of the lower town, while the later Hellenistic city on the Acropolis remains largely unexplored. In 1882-86, Heinrich Schulman's excavations, H. Schulman, or Chomenos, Leipzig 1881, revealed the Tholos tomb he called the Tomb of Minus, a Mycenaean monument that equaled the tomb of Atreus at Mycenae itself. In 1893, A. Derider excavated the Temple of Asclepius and some burials in the Roman necropolis. In 1903-05, a Bavarian archaeological mission under Heinrich Bull and Adolf Fertwängler conducted successful excavations at the site. Research continued in 1970-73 by the Archaeological Service under Theodore Spiropoulos, uncovering the Mycenaean Palace, a prehistoric cemetery, the theater and other structures. Tomb or Treasury of Minus The Tomb of Minus is one of the greatest burial monuments of the Mycenaean period. The tomb was probably built for the members of the royal family of Orchomenos in 1250 BC and was plundered in antiquity. The monument was visible for many centuries after its original use and even became a place of worship in the Hellenistic period. It was probably a famous landmark until at least the second century ad, when Pausanias visited Orchomenos and described the Tholos in detail. It had a Drimos 30 meters long. Its entrance was built of dark gray levadia marble and had a wooden door. The lintel, still in place today, is 6 meters long and weighs several tons. The entrance and the chamber were decorated with bronze rosettes as shown by the attachment holes on the walls and the ceiling of the side chamber is decorated with spirals and floral motifs in relief. In the center of the tholos, a rectangular burial monument dates to the Hellenistic period. 323-30 BC. It was partially restored by the architect archaeologist A. Orlandos. In 1994, the Hellenic Ministry of Culture undertook restoration work consisting mainly of drainage and strengthening of the walls of the side chamber. The Neolithic remains found at Orchomenos were first thought to be in situ, Bull 1907 but it later appeared that they consisted of fill in a leveling deposit, Kunz 1931, Trow 1983. Thus the associated roundhouses, 2 to 6 meters in diameter, were in fact from the early Bronze Age, 2800 to 1900 BC. Later in that period, houses were upsidal. The Mycenaean palace to the east of the Tholos tomb and lying partially underneath the church is only partially excavated and consists of three wings, some of which were decorated with frescoes. The palace was destroyed c. 1200 BC. Orchomenus Mycenaean palace, the fortification walls of Orchomenus were built in the second half of the 4th century BC under the Macedonians and crown the east end of Mount Aconchon. The theater was built around the end of the 4th century BC. The cavia, with seats for the spectators, the orchestra and part of the cinema are all preserved. It was in use until late Roman times. 4th century ad. Mm.